actually looked up Mzungus on the internet because I thought it was like a neurology term. I was like, is that something I haven't learned yet? Like a homunculus or something? Uh, so anyway, folks, uh, this may be like a little known fact, but it's actually kind of hard for doctors to find that special someone. Uh, you know, I know what you're thinking, how could it be? Uh, you spend 12 hours a day inside, you read nothing but textbooks and journals, and your idea of a night out is uh, home by 9 o'clock, but it's true. Uh, so we actually have a new dating game to try and uh, help some of us out. Please help me welcome to the stage Stella, Will, Laura, Sam, and Dahlia. to our first edition of The Match, a dating game for doctors. As you may know, dating for the modern physician can be a challenge. Finding the right person can be hard when your most intimate moment this year was during your last DRE. Yikes. <laughs> if this sounds like you, have no fears. <clears throat> we have brought some of the finest bachelors to home. <laughs> You guys can hear me? Right. <clears throat> we have brought some of the finest bachelors and bachelorettes from the land of Northwell here tonight. This episode is sponsored by Northwell, 61,000 Eyes, and Baby Austin. <clears throat> now, we've already collected some questions from the audience. Residents, you will each answer a question, in turn, after which our secret guest will use the simple to use flawlessly logical guide to help decide who the winner is. <laughs> do. Okay, next. I'm Jacob, neurosurgeon. <laughs> Step one score, 270. Step two, 280. Bench press, 350. <laughs> AOA, Road Scholar, and uh, I don't talk about this a whole lot, but I did win an Emmy for Best Guest Star in Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Everything else, WNL. WNL? We never look! <laughs> Within normal limits, you SOB. <laughs> Alright, next contestant. Hello, my name is Dr. Sunny. I'm somewhere between my mid-twenties and late fifties. <laughs> I like to watch movies, go to the gym. Examine dead bodies in my dimly lit basement. Japanese food. <laughs> Japanese food. Like sushi? Oh, well, okay. Hold your competency, man. I, I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> next, next, next contestant. Hi, I'm Susie. I'm a 25 year old female with a past relationship history significant for three ex boyfriends. Status post failure to convince my boyfriend to couples match. Refractory treatment with coffee meat bagel, fryer, and JD. <laughs> Thank you for that depressing intro into your dating life. Let's try another question, shall we? How would you describe yourself in one word? Well, I look much younger than my stated age. I'm well groomed, fully conscious, extremely cooperative, full oriented. My pop content is Could could you sum it up in one word, please? Oh yeah. Felon. I mean father. I mean friendly. <laughs> What about you, Dr. Uh, God? <laughs> Seems a little exaggerated, but okay, moving on. Dr. Sunny, how would you describe yourself in one word? Circumscribed. <laughs> Ex 
<laughs> I'm well circumscribed. Like, I'm benign, no malignant potential. <laughs> I won't invade your personal space, and when you try to get rid of me, I'm not going to recur. <laughs> so you're saying you don't like to get too close to people. All right, moving on. What about you, Susie? Uh, wait. I need to think this through. Let's organize this by problem, okay? I'll need to consult my mom to tell you about my past uh, personal history, my ex-boyfriend to tell you about my romantic life, and maybe we should consult my attending. I spent more time with him than I did my last boyfriend. At least that's what he told me when he broke up with me. Next. <laughs> Next question. What would you say is your worst quality? My mother. Okay, now, <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 moving on. Jacob, your worst quality. I, uh, I really don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> really, it seems like a simple question. Okay. Well, mine is my vitamin D levels. <laughs> but I spend a lot of time indoors. Okay. What about you, Susan? I'll get back to you after I get the results of my LFTs, PFTs, and the STD panel. <laughs> STDs? All right, well, 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 that's it. Moving on. Question number four. What is your idea of an ideal date? Hmm. It's interesting that you ask. Why oh, you ask that? We're here to talk about you. No, 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 actually, this is about you, actually. Oh, well, I guess it depends. What is a date? What is romance? What does it mean to be in love? All right, well, Dr. Freud over here is perseverating. Dr. Davis, do you have an answer? Well, I mean, I, I guess I could get them a visitor's pass to the OR. You know, nothing says sexy and exciting like standing behind an attending for 10 hours during a craniac <laughs> Okay, how about, how about a date that doesn't involve a third person? Oh, uh, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> I guess I could spare two minutes in the on-call room for a quick meal. I hope you like energy gel. After that comment, I know I do. I mean, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dr. Sunny, what is your ideal date? I guess a picnic on a bright, sunny day with a lot of laughing people. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly normal answer from Dr. Groovy. Wait, did you say best? Or worse? <laughs> well, he said ideal, so neither. Uh, I guess that was a good right answer to the wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was stupid. Oh! Slow it down! Hey, what about you, Susie? Uh, how, how can I possibly think about just one date? I'm all about that continuity of care. <laughs> I guess a dinner could be nice. But then we need to call, consult GI to decide on what to order. And we probably should involve cardio, so we'll make sure it's heart healthy. And maybe I should call OBGYN neurology, you know, just in case they get serious. <laughs> okay, things just got a little weird. But we'll move on to the next question. What kind of quality do you look for? <coughs> well, someone tall and dark, with a thick beard who smells like pine and works with his hands. Wait. I'm describing my father. <laughs> no, but seriously. I like someone who's calm, cool, and collected. And if all else fails, there's nothing called all two milligrams, can't fix. <laughs> okay, what about a partner that doesn't require drugs? Anyway, we'll move on. How about you, Jacob? <clears throat> I don't know. I, I guess someone with, like, dark brown hair, blue eyes, about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, neurosurgeon. It um, seems like you're describing yourself. Well, you know, you let me know if you can find someone better. <laughs> you mean like someone with a pulse? Okay. Well, um, you know, I think what is a really important quality is what's on the inside. Oh, you mean like inner beauty? Uh, no. I mean like the physical inside, like <laughs> golf stones. You can make a necklace. <laughs> No murmurs, drugs, or gallows. Good head on their shoulders, normal cephalic, atraumatic, strength, 5 out of 5. Lungs cleared to auscultation bilaterally, normal bowel function, no hypertension, no diabetes, no past family. Oh, all right, all right, we, we get it. it. The closest you've been to someone recently was during the fun discussion exam. We get it. 
Anyway, uh, next question. Where do you see yourself in five years? I see myself never having to touch a patient ever again. Let's hope for the sake of your career that's actually true. <laughs> well, uh, five years, I'll cure at least 500 stage 4 glioblastomas. Uh, isn't that a terminal diagnosis? Irrelevant. Okay. <laughs> I cut the whole thing out. Clear margins. Okay. What about you, Dr. Sunny? Uh, in five years, I will have made ten new additions to Robin's pathology. <laughs> Susie? In five years, I hope to be a pioneer in fecal transplant medicine. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful evening. Whoa. Wait a minute. No. No. <laughs> Who won? I should have won. Everyone else here is incompetent. Uh, I am so sorry. It seems that the contest that the uh, your potential date was a neurologist who thought that this was a consult and not a game show host and therefore didn't think. Um, this was urgent enough for them to combine it. <laughs> you're, you're saying we don't, we don't get anything. Again. Well, thank you once again for coming, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait a minute. I just threw my one free hour of the entire week away for this, this crap. And I was supposed to see 50 patients in the last hour. And I have 30 dead bodies to examine. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to be home like three. <laughs> are made up and the physicians don't matter. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next show, Man in a Box, where famed neurologist Ron Kanner tries to find himself out of an ordinary cardboard box using only his linguistic skills. <laughs> Stay tuned for Lost. There it is. <clears throat> Stay tuned for Lost, a journey through the North Charlotte J. parking lot. <laughs> and last but not least, end of encounter. Where medical students fight to the death to complete a set of impossible tasks. When before the time is up. We would like to thank our sponsor, Doctor. Sweat patients right for your next match. Thank you and good night. <laughs>